If you are working on a project that uses Node.js, I'm sure that you encountered version-related issues. Upgrades, downgrades, stability change, you name it. To fix it, you've tried to use Node Version Manager or NVM. You found out that it worked, however, it can be complex and slow. So, in this video, we will be solving this issue with FNM, Fast Node Manager. Like the name suggests, it is a fast node manager written in Rust, and they also kept simplicity in mind. So, further ado, hit the like button and let's get started. First, let's look at how we can install FNM. To do that, we have multiple options, brew, scoop, choco, or binary release. Depending on your system, you can choose what you want. But in this case, I will be using cargo, which is a Rust package manager. To install FNM, I use the command cargo install FNM and wait for it to complete. Once that's done, we can verify the installation by typing FNM dash dash version, and we are ready to go. To get started, let's try to install a node version. But first, we obviously need to know which version to install. So to list them, we can use the command FNM list dash remove. There, let's choose the latest version, which is this one. To install it, we use the command fnm install followed by the version name, like so. Then hit the enter and wait for it to complete. Once that's done, I repeat the step once again, but this time with another version. That way we can explore some other features of fnm as well. Again, we wait for it to complete, and once that's done, we are ready to list the installed versions. To do so, we type the command fnm list, and there we have it. At this point, we are almost ready to use the installed node versions. But before that, we quickly need to make a small addition to our shell profile. Luckily, doing this is pretty easy. I just type notepad, followed by the profile name, like so. And as you can see, it opens up the profile settings in a notepad. Now we simply append this command to the end of the file. And after that, we just save it and close it. Now, depending on which shell you use, the process may change. So I highly suggest you to check out the project repository for additional instructions. Anyways. We are done with that and now we can select and use a specific version. And we can do it by typing fnm use followed by the version name. Let's say that we choose the latest one, like so. And once it's done, we can execute node dash dash version to check the current version and there we have it. Now, if I want to quickly switch between versions, I can again use this command, but change the version name, like so. And there we have it. It changed flawlessly and our current node version has now changed. At this point, assume that we don't need the other version and want to get rid of it. In that case, we can simply run the fnm uninstall command followed by the version name. And now, if I were to list all of the installed versions, there we go. It is now removed from the list. In the end, this is the basic usage of the fast node manager. As you can see, it is pretty simple to use and like the name suggests, it is fast. Also, keep in mind that fnm has other features as well. To observe them, you can always check out the project repository, which is linked in the description down below. And that's it, I hope you find this introductory video to FNM useful. If so, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, take care.